Hello guys, today I will be talking about the important questions that are asked from the abdomen topic during the semesters and the first prof examination of the first year MBBS. So the chapters that I have mentioned here are as per the chapters present in the BD Charasya book. So it is better that you follow the BD Charasya book. Now moving to the first chapter that is the anterior abdominal wall. The enumerated questions that are asked from this chapter are contents of the rectus seat, contents of the spermatic cord. This is the most important question. Coverings of the indirect and direct inguinal hernia, this is also important. And boundaries and content of Hasselbach triangle, this is less important questions. And uh, you have mainly to focus on the contents of the spermatic cord and the coverings of the hernia. Now moving to the short note from this chapter. Inguinal ligament, premastric reflex, rectus seat, inguinal canal, mechanisms of inguinal canal, hernia, and enlargement of inguinal lymph nodes in healthy individuals. All of these are lesser important questions. Now moving to the next chapter that is the male genital organ enumerate questions are layers of the scrotum this is the most important questions coverings of the testes this is less important and uh, short note uh, on sites of ectopic testes this is the most important questions and varicose seal can be rarely asked and uh, now moving to the abdominal cavity and the peritoneum the enumerate questions from this chapter are abdominal regions and their main contents derivatives of ventral and dorsal mesogastrin this is important Contents of greater momentum, contents of lesser momentum, these two. Contents of greater and lesser momentum are also important. The structures crossed by the root of mesentery is also important. Contents of mesentery and boundaries of epicoloid foramen are lesser important questions. Now moving to the short note, uh, mesentery. Subphrenic spaces, hepatorenal pouch, pouch of Douglas and uh, peritoneal fossae. These are lesser important, however, diagrams on these can be asked. Esophagus and the stomach. Esophagus is generally covered in the thorax and uh, in case of BD Charasya book, uh, only information about the stomach is given. So the various questions that you can expect in the enumerated section are the structures forming the bed of the stomach. This is very, very important question and it is generally asked in every exam, in, in, even in the semesters as well as in the prof. Now, peritoneal relations, visceral relations and the blood supply are generally a part of long question, but they can be also asked to enumerate. Short note on the stomach. If a short note on the stomach is asked, you will have to write about its location, location, uh, along with curvature, various parts, nerve supply, blood supply, arterial uh, blood supply, as well as various other things that should be noted. And uh, the lymphatic drainage, blood supply of the stomach, nerve supply, and the histology. Now, moving to the small and large intestine chapter, enumerate questions that are expected from this chapter are relations of the duodenum. This is the most important one and generally the question that is asked is to enumerate the relations of the second part of the duodenum. However, you can also learn the first, uh, third and the fourth. You, you should not neglect the first, third and the fourth part also because they can also ask. They can also be asked. Differences between the small and the large intestine. This is less important questions and the positions of the appendix. This is also an important question and this is generally asked. Short note uh, can come on the ligament of the treats. Meckel's diverticulum, vermiform appendix. This is important. Vermiform appendix. Referred pain in peritonitis and histology of the appendix. This is less important. Uh, large blood vessels of gut. Enumerate questions from this are. This chapter is very, very important, and you can expect any of these enumerate questions can come. Uh, enumerate questions like uh, branches of the celiac trunk, branches of splenic artery, branches of common hepatic artery, branches of superior mesentery, inferior mesentery and branches and tributaries of the portal vein and the uh, site of portocable anastomosis and the various arteries involved. This is most important question, sites of portocable anastomosis and the arteries involved in it. Short note can be expected on uh, marginal artery of the dermat. That's very important. Portal vein, this is also less important. Portocable anastomosis, this is most important. Caput medusa and esophageal varices are also important. Extra hepatic biliary apparatus. The enumerated questions are Parts of the apparatus can be asked, relations, arterial supply, venous drainage. However, the relation is most important one out of these. Short note can be expected on nerve supply. Referred pain in cholecystectitis is the most important. This has been asked uh, in semesters as well as in the prof and most of the exams that was taken during my time. Calyot triangle and development of the apparatus are less important. The spleen, liver and pancreas, uh, this is the most important chapter. As uh, questions are asked uh, on this uh, in the examination, written examination, as well as during the vivas that are taken during the practical exam. So the enumerated questions that can be expected on this chapter are 
structures at the hilum of the spleen, relations of the pancreas. And uh, short notes generally spleen on a spleen are location, position, relations, arterial supply, venous drainage, nerve supply, development, and the clinical anatomy. Long question can also be asked on this. And if a long question is asked, generally you have to write down on the following topics that I have written under the section spleen. Now, in case of the pancreas, short note as well as long question can be asked on this. Uh, so, if either short note or long question is asked, you have to write about the location, relations of its different part, arterial supply, venous drainage, development, annular pancreas. This is the most important one, and it is generally you can expect it. This is absolutely asked now. Annular pancreas and the clinical anatomy. You have to write it. And uh, next, moving on to the liver. You have to write about the relations, their areas of the liver, hepatic segments, and the liver biopsy. However, um, generally asked questions out of these are their areas of the liver and its relations. And uh, these two questions are also asked during the vivas in the practical examination. Now moving to the kidney and the ureter. The enumerated questions from this part are anterior and the posterior relations. This is the most important one. Tributaries of the left renal vein. This is less important. Constrictions of the uterus. Ureter is also important. Blood supply of the ureter is lesser important. Short note on the vascular segment of the kidney, blood supply of the kidney, these are lesser important. Polycystic kidney is most important and glomerulus of the kidney is also less important. Suprarenal gland, adrenal gland, subdivisions, locations, uh, seats, relations, arterial supply and the nerve supply. Generally a long question is asked on this. Posterior abdominal wall, the enumerated questions are branches of the abdominal aorta, most important. Tributaries of the inferior vena cava, branches of uh, external iliac artery, lesser important. Short note uh, on psoas major, lumbar fascia and psoas abscess, these are also lesser important. So guys, uh, these are the important questions that are generally asked in the examination. The questions uh, that I have said that they are most important ones, these are for sure, they can be asked. However, you can't neglect the questions that I have said uh, that are rarely asked or they are, that are lesser important. Thank you.